OG, do you believe there's a concept such as oversleeping? Although I'm more of active recovery, long, longer hours of sleep seem to work well for me. Got dude, you're talking to Mr. Uh, sleeping beauty here. You know, I sleep like a mofo and everybody's different. So the standard is, you know, like most people need between anywhere between seven to nine hours. That's your standard. So you have to find out where you are in that. And some people would like, there are outliers that need less and that could function really well, but that's outliers, right? Exceptions. And then you have people who at an extreme, you know, like at nine is pretty, it starts to get extreme. But also if you're a, a, a type of person that can sleep a lot, like eight, nine hours, easy, right? And on top of that, you train, guess what? You're going to sleep even more. Now, what's even suggested for athletes? I remember reading this in a book uh, called um, uh, Nutrition for Sports Optimization, yada, yada, yada. It's a pretty old book, but like really well-researched and written by like a really scientific uh, sports dude. Um, and they were talking about like sleeping, get this, like 10 hours a night, okay, plus one hour naps for high-level athletes. You know, because when you push your body, you do need time to recover. So I think a lot of sleep seems to work well for me. Yeah. So sleeping is like numero uno. So what I'm trying to say is that one of the reasons why I believe I look so young for my age, like right now there's lighting. I do have some wrinkles, but I haven't been putting cream and all that. But if I start like just moisturizing my face, like uh, I'm looking pretty good, you know, I think I've been drinking a little bit too much coffee. Anyways, coffee raises cortisol, by the way. So you don't want, you want to reduce your stress. Um, one of the reasons why, yes, I'm Asian and I look young, I can't grow a beard. And, you know, so I have like good, decent genes for anti-aging. I, I, you know, but at the same time, I sleep a lot. Like when I was in jail, I think I was there for like 18 months. I was my last stint. Like I must've slept half of that shit. Like <laughs> just sleep, <laughs> whatever, wake up, uh, eat something, uh, whatever, just sleep again, you know, like really like I could sleep a lot. So oversleeping now, nah. you know, like when, you know, um, but it is important, like the quality of, uh, of sleep that you get. And also it's always better to sleep, um, throughout the night, you know? So ideally you want to be to bed, like anywhere between 10 at night and then wake up like around six, or if you go over or you go over or whatever, but you don't want to sleep like, uh, after I find after, after midnight, that's when it starts to like mess up your, uh, circadian rhythm. Cause you remember your body follows the rhythm of the planets, right? The sun, the moon and all that, it does affect us in a big way. So if you follow that cycle, you'll be good, right? But if you go off that cycle, then it's gonna, it's gonna throw you off. Like if you start sleeping at three in the morning, even if you sleep three in the morning to like, you know, three in the afternoon. Okay. But the thing is it's, it's, it's off. Like you have to, it's throwing your system off. That's what I'm saying.